honey bees, it's your girl honey, and today I'm gonna be eating whole salmon sushi rolls and nuclear fire noodles. So let's dig in because I'm so hungry. So let's try the sushi roll. I have extra nuclear fire sauce in here. I'm gonna dunk it in. Ooh, look at that. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. And my noodles for you noodle lovers. Can you bite? Mmm. Just like I thought, they do go well together. Mmm. I want to try the sushi roll without the nuclear fire sauce. Actually, I'm going to put some wasabi on here. And I have a packet of wasabi. Pour some wasabi on there. Ta-da! Wasabi! Mmm! I love wasabi. Mmm. I am so hungry, you guys. I just came back from watching Xena. Good girl. Good girl. So on my way to watch Xena, it's so funny. Xena is so bold and brave. I'm going like 60, 65 miles per hour, right? And she just pokes her face out the window and she's like, and her eyes are about to pop out because the wind is so strong. But she's just like out there enjoying the breeze. It's not even a breeze. It's like a slap in the face with the wind. And she's like, Woohoo! Woohoo! And there's a truck passing by, and she's just like chilling there. I'm just like, wow, Zena, you are a brave soul. <laughs> you guys have to see her in real life. Hmm. There's salmon, salmon roe, squid, and I'm not sure what this is, you guys. Is this a mini corn? Or some type of fish egg? It is good. Mmm. You know, it's kind of scary because I feel like Xena is like. 10 different dogs in one body. Mm. So normally, she goes crazy when we go for walks. She's just like yelling like, woo, 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 let's go, let's go. And she jumps on you. I tell her to wait. If you jump, we won't go. But she just can't contain herself. And then today, when I was washing her, she was a completely different dog. She was just like so quiet with her ears back. And like she was just like, wash me. Xena, mm. is that you? Or what did you do to Xena? Of course, it's a good thing for me because if she went crazy in the bathtub, I don't know if I could handle two hussies. Am I 
And when Zena eats, she's like a mukbanger. She's just like me. She's like, bah, 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 bah. and she eats her food in like ten seconds. When I go out for a while and come back home, she's like an opera singer. She's like, where, 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 where are you? I missed you. Although, of course, it's nice to take your dogs to a professional groomer. I think bathing your dogs and grooming them yourself is like bonding time. It's like basically bonding time with your kids, you know? It feels like that. Even taking them for walks is not just exercise for them, but they feel more intimate with you when you take them out for walks. How many bites do you think it'll take for me to finish this roll? If I took honey bites? Should we try this? Ready? Bite number one. Let me finish. The rice in these rolls are really sticky. So it's very hard to chew. Empty my mouth. Bite number two. I think maybe four bites. Let's see some noodles in between for more flavor. So some people, some of my honeybees, want me to try the 11 lobster tails and 11 bites challenge. And I also want to try that challenge. So it'll be coming soon to your YouTube feed. Let's get that third bite in. Let's stretch out that mouth. The jaw. Mm. 
You know what? It might be five, but... This rice is so sticky. It's sticking to my gums, sticking to my teeth, sticking to my tongue. This time in the nuclear fire sauce. I wonder what type of fish eggs these are. I've never seen this before. How many of you guys guessed five? I thought I could do it in four bites, but nah, these are pretty thick. Look at that. So while we're talking about doggies today, how do you guys come up with your pet's names? I didn't name Zeno Zeno. I got him as a gift from my then boyfriend. I got Xena after Xeno, so I was like, well, Xena's a girl, so maybe we'll just put an A after XCM. So that's how we named her Xena. But Lucky is our family dog. I miss you, Lucky. But we named her Lucky so she could bring us a lot of luck. <laughs> Super simple. A lot of Koreans used to name their dogs Lucky. I miss her dearly. I want to know how you guys come up with your pets' names. So I read something online the other day, and they were like, my dog's name was Tofu, but we regret naming her Tofu. You would ask, why? Why do you regret naming your dog Tofu? And the person said that, their dog passed away, and because the dog's name was Tofu, even the thought of eating tofu or just hearing any tofu dishes or seeing tofu at the market made them really sad. And you know what? That makes sense. And I know a lot of people name their dogs after like their favorite food or any type of food that they like. It actually makes sense not to name your dog after some type of food, especially your favorite food. So note to self and note to you guys, don't name your dogs after your favorite food.
You know, the saddest thing for me. Zena always guards my door. She's always sleeping in front of my door. And Lucky used to sleep with her. And seeing just Zena herself, sometimes I'm just like, Oh, Zena, she probably misses Lucky too and is wondering where Lucky went. They didn't really get to say goodbye. But I know Lucky is watching over us. And she's always with us in our hearts. And she's right here always with us when I film my mukbangs. Sometimes I really wish dogs' lifespan was as long as ours, human lifespans. But if we look on the brighter side, that's one of the reasons why we appreciate them more. Because we know that their lifespans are shorter than ours. Zeno and Zena's birthdays are only three days apart. And they'll be turning nine soon. You know how old that is in human years? 63. 63. They're my grandparents. I went to Del Taco the other day. And I asked for more Del Scorcho sauce. And you know what they said? They said now they're only giving one sauce out to one order. Can you guys believe it? One sauce per order? I'm a saucy girl, so I need a lot of sauces when I eat my food. But one sauce per order? Of course it was not enough. I love my ketchup with fries. Ranch and ketchup. Mmm. What do you guys think about the one sauce per order policy? Let me know in the comments down below. The nuclear fire sauce today is making me really sneezy. <sighs> this is going to be my last bite. Thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and to become a honey bee and like this video if you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye